Hello friends, welcome to Healthy Living Fitter channel by Florence Tracker. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to wash your fruit and vegetables the right way to get rid of all the pesticides and all the chemicals that are used to grow these fruit and vegetables that we buy and how it's handled. We don't know. We just buy them, but we want to make sure that we are staying healthy and protecting ourselves. So I'm going to show you in this video how I wash my fruit and vegetables once I get them home from the supermarket. So watch me as I do this and I'll see you right here so these are the fruits that i bought and uh, i want to wash them nicely the fruit and the vegetables you can see before i store them and use them and one thing i noticed is not many people realize how much or where which places these fruit and veg vegetables come from before we go and buy them how many hands that have touched it and so to be to protect our own selves we need to take measures to make sure that our fruit and vegetables are well clean before we store them to use so i'm going to pour water in here And this is just going to be a very cold water. And it depends how much fruit and vegetables you have you want to wash. It depends on that. So as this is going here, I am going to put in, put in one third cup of salt. And you can see this is uh, iodized salt and that in here. And I'm going to pour, put it in this water here. And then I'm going to put in a baking soda. It's really cleans. It's really good to use it to clean your fruit and vegetables. And I'm going to pour that as well. And you don't have to measure this much it just depends on how much fruit and vegetables that you have you want to clean or wash so once that is done i am going to put in a, a vinegar and uh, this really helps to maintain the freshness of the, the fruit and vegetables and also to keep it clean from all the pesticides and all the chemicals that i use so i'm going to pour that in as well and you can see the reaction so anything that we put in here is going to clean everything nice okay so these are my cabbage is going to go in there i have my fruits and just put it in there and let it soak in And then you can wash this. Make sure you wash it all nicely. And now we're gonna let that soak in. And then I have a pineapple that also I'm going to wash first. But what I do is before I put it in, in this uh, solution that we are using to clean these fruits and vegetables, I'm first going to wash this first to get all the filth off it. So here I am just going to use them. you can see all the dirt that is coming off this and you don't want to just peel this once you, you bought this you want to make sure that it's really really clean before you store it or before you use it You can see all the dirt that is coming out. And there is, they do have a, a cleaning stuff that you can use to wash your, to clean your pineapples. And I'm going to leave a link. It's like, this is just like a, a some kind of a sponge that you can use to wash your fruits especially the pineapple like this and then we take make sure you take a lot of this off here before we store you 
now we see we don't see any more dirt coming off this because we really scrub you want to make sure you scrub this really really well to get all the dead all the filth of this and get all the gems off it okay so now that this is done this looks better than the first time we put it in here okay now i am going to finish scrubbing this make sure you take all this because sometimes they put stickers on those before we buy them so make sure you take all that make sure you clean clean everything nicely and now this will be safe for us to eat sometimes i see people right away they started eating the fruits in the store you don't want to do that at least get home make sure you have this washed nicely before you eat them because they have gone through so many stages before they get to us to the supermarket for us to go and buy them and so we want to make sure that we we are eating the right thing that we put in our bodies the same thing with oranges i know we are going to before you use it you are going to take this the skin of but as the same time you are going to be touching it before cutting it and all that gems if there is any gems or pesticides still on these you are going to be touching it before touching the actual fruit and that is not good take all these out make sure you get everything scrubbing nicely Just make sure that you rub this nicely. Get all the germs, all the pesticides, all these chemicals that they use to. I know sometimes you're going to buy organic, but it doesn't matter whether the fruit and vegetable is organic or not. You still need to make sure you have this washed nicely in this solution, and that helps. So if there is anything else, any chemicals that is in there, it will all come out. I do have some tomatoes that I'm going to be using and I'm going to wash them in here as well. And I do have some, some avocado that I'll be using as well. And I'm going to wash this. Even though this is not ripe yet, I'm still going to wash it before I set it down for it to ripe nicely. So if I want to use it, it's already clean. All right, so once that this is all done, I'm going to pour this water out. And then after that, I am going to wash this again. This time we know that now we know that our fruit and vegetables are nicely clean. now when we want to use this we good to go we just take it and go ahead and use them and i do this every time i shop for my fruit and vegetables the first thing i do the moment i get home this is the first thing i do and before i put them in the fridge if i don't need if i need to or leave them on the counter if they need to ripe more which i do 
and now our pineapple. You can see how it cleans so nicely. So after that, what I do is I wipe them all off. Now this is what I do. Once I finish washing them all nicely, I use a towel to wipe all the water off before I put them in the fridge. And I use a paper towel just because it's free of any gems or any things, any dirt that or links that it might contain. So I use a fresh towel than to use a, uh, just a regular kitchen towels and we can see it's nicely clean and now i know if i'm cutting this if i'm eating this i know i don't have any gems on it that it's all it's clean and i can put it in my refrigerator and then when i'm ready to use it i know it's already ready for me to use new one and just wash clean this nicely you want to make sure you clean all the water you don't want to leave any water on it because you don't want to get condensation in the fridge so you wash everything nicely and now we have a very clean fruit and vegetables that whenever we are ready to use them they are ready for us and we know it's clean and now i can put my fruits and vegetables in my refrigerator and it can go in right here and this can go here so now it's all there for me fresh when i'm ready to use them i just take this and I know it's all washed nicely and I will not have any issue with that. All right, so I just showed you how to wash your fruit and vegetables when you bought them from the store or the supermarket because you really don't know where all these have gone through the stages before it comes or it got to us to buy them in the supermarket. So to be able to be at the safer side for yourself, you have to make sure that you have all these fruit and vegetables clean first thing when you get from the market. That's what I do my all my fruit and vegetables. That way, when you are in a rush or want to use it right away without even thinking whether did I wash this or not, you already know that it has already been washed and all you have to do is get your fruit or your vegetables and use it the way you want. So that's all I want to share with you today. Not many people know that all these fruits and vegetables that we buy from the supermarket, it's all grown with pesticides, even though it's there are organic ones not many people get access to organic fruits and vegetables because sometimes they are more expensive than the regular ones so even your fruit can be organic also at least even your fruit can be organic it needs to be washed as well it doesn't matter what kind whether it's organic or it's a free range just make sure that you have your fruit and vegetables washed every time that you buy them from the supermarket with the solution that i just showed you sometimes you might not have a vinegar or salt is something that it's in every household salt has a cleaning advantage a cleaning benefit of it if you don't if you do not have a baking soda which you should have in every home that's fine use a salted water it, it, it takes off any germs any pesticides off anything and so that can be something you can use if you don't have access to vinegar or if you don't have access to baking soda just use salted water and make sure that you 
you watch it's really nicely clean and i'm going to leave a link below for you for the scrubbing the scrubbing sponge that you can get to scrub especially the pineapples and your your setting vegetables that are tough to clean and that will make it easy for you so that's all i want to share with you today and i hope this video helped you in any way remember that it's it's at our own best interest to make sure we have our fruits and vegetables clean nicely and so we can live a healthy life and that's what we all want i mean we don't have to spend too much money to get help we can maintain our own health we can do the little little things that will help us to maintain the good healthy living that's all we want and so that's why i want to share this video with you and if this gives you any value don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also like share and comment and if you have any questions leave it in the comment section below for me and i'll get back to you as always i thank you for watching my videos stay healthy stay blessed as i bring you tips that will help all of us to stay healthy every single day i'll see you take care bye bye